Hi everyone, in today's video we're going to show you the new redesigned customer panel 2.0. We've made some great enhancements to improve your customer's experience. But enough talk, let's dive into it. What's required to utilize the new customer panel? Nothing really, because all you need is Amelia 7.5 or above. To start with the customer panel, you need to create a page. So within the page, you need to add either a Gutenberg customer panel block, or if you're using another builder like Elementor or Divi, you can utilize the same functionality as well. When you add the block, uh, the panel version is automatically selected to be the old one. So you need to select the new version and you will see the version equals to appears in the shortcode. You can also disable appointments if you old only have events or you can disable events if you only have appointments. Um, all of you guys who are not using Gutenberg Elementor or Divi can simply use this short code which will be listed in the description below the video and add it to your existing page. Once the page is saved you can view the page in a, a browser and copy its URL to add it into the settings. So now when the page is live, we can view it, copy the URL and add it here under Amelia, settings, role settings, customer. Once you enable the customer panel, paste the URL here and that is basically it. You can allow your customers to log in using a password. Uh, you can allow them to delete their profile and to cancel their packages if you don't allow them to use the password. Once they land on the customer panel page, they will be required to enter their email address and Amelia will send them a notification that includes a unique token that automatically logs them into the panel. Let me show you how it works with the password. You're not allowed to access this page is here because I access the settings. I access this page before I entered the URL and before I enabled the panel in Amelia settings. So now when I refresh the page, this error message is gone and I can now log in using my password and my email address. So once I sign in as a customer, of course, I can see a beard trim appointment scheduled for September 27th at 10 and I can see that there is an event, a demo event, which is scheduled for October 1st. This customer doesn't have any packages yet, so they would need to buy a package on a package uh, a page in order for the package to show up in here. Uh, customers can also toggle the sidebar so it hides uh, and they can log out, of course. Once they click here, this is actually my name, so once I click here, I can change my name to say Alexander Test Customer and I can change my date of birth or delete my profile as defined in Amelia settings. So now the profile data is updated successfully and that is basically it. If I was to log out and if I change the settings so the password is not required for login, I can take a look at what the customer panel is going to show. So it's going to ask for a, an email address in order to send out a, a, an access link. So after I send myself a link, Amelia confirms that the email has been sent and now I can check my inbox and see here the customer panel access. So dear. Alexander test customer you can access your profile on this link so let's just copy this link address and paste it here as you can see this is the unique token that is sent to the customer so this is something that nobody can abuse and no one can use this token because it's set to uh, sent to your email address once you confirm this Amelia automatically logs you into the customer panel just as it did once uh, while you had the password enabled. So that's basically what this option does. 
This notification that is used to reset the password and send the access link is located here under email notifications to customer uh, customer panel access. As you were able to see, dear customer full name, you can access your profile on this link. Now the link needs to be in this format. So it needs to be this placeholder, customer panel URL. A common mistake is that people use the URL of the customer panel and define that link here under edit. If you do this, uh, Amelia won't be able to send your customers the unique token that they need to log into their profile or to reset their password. So it's important to highlight this, click on the link option and enter the link as percentage customer panel URL. Once this is saved, your customers will receive the proper email notification that contains the token that logs them into the panel. What's also worth mentioning is that you can customize the panel in the customize section of Amelia. So access customize, scroll down a bit, choose customer panel 2.0 and configure it as you want it to be. So you can choose the login step where you can change the font colors or change the labels. Um, for example, we don't want to change the alert message. We want to change the title so it doesn't say welcome back, but it says customer panel. And you can change enter your credentials. Please enter your credentials. These labels also apply to any additional languages configured in Amelia which you can define here. Um, to modify the panel itself, just click on this uh, drop down and click on panel. You will see a preview of the panel in here and you will be able to configure everything from options as to display the time zone field right here, service filter, employee filter and location filter. Once all of this is disabled, once you expand the filters, there would nothing will be in there. And here you can see the changes that were made previously. You can choose the button types, whether they're going to be filled, plain or just text, uh, and a lot of other options and customizations in here. It also covers the pop-ups like reschedule the appointment, like what's, what labels should be in there, if the time zone is going to be displayed, if the end time is going to be shown in here or not and so on. I wouldn't like to overwhelm you guys with everything that's included in a customer panel. We've got another video for that, but we hope you enjoyed the tour of Amelia's redesigned customer panel. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments section below. While you're here, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon to be updated about all our coming updates. Thanks for watching and take care guys.